Hey Crusaders, I'm AJ. And I'm Julius. And today, Julius and I are going to be talking about our predictions for X-Men Days of Future Past. Julius, what is your general prediction? So, my general predic- prediction yes. for the whole movie. Um, now, I haven't read the comic. Uh, yeah. I haven't, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all, I'm more, you know, well, you know, versed in the movies and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think the main essential plot yeah of the movie is going to be i think i know it wasn't nixon in the comic books um that wasn't who you know they're gonna be trying to kill um but i i'm almost certain i know the general plot of what this movie is going to be and i think what like the arc is yeah i think i think what Mis- you see mystique and if you watched X- the amazing experiment 2 that last scene she's trying to form her own group of mutants yeah. So what I think Mystique is trying to do um, is that she's going to get a bunch of these rogue mutants that you saw in um, X Men uh, First Class. Yeah. And that she's going to try to form like her own band of people, and she's going to try to kill Richard Nixon. Which then they're like, okay, these mutants are out of control, and then they get Trask to build these Sentinels to start wiping out the mutants because they're out of control. And then, you know, then from there we'll see what, you know, Magneto and... Well, wait, isn't it, um... I mean, they had all these trailers about, you know, Magneto being responsible for the, um, uh, the JFK shootings. Yes. And so I feel like that was, that was the instigator for We Need Sentinels, um, Mm. was he was responsible. I don't know. And so I, I thought that I saw something like that. So I, 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 I think, don't. I think you're, he did. I think the, I never. I, I saw what you're talking about. Yeah. I just. I think there's something. Uh, something else. even. Something. Because you've, you've been seeing Nixon in the trailers. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's my general prediction. Okay. I would say for my general prediction, um, I would. I would say that a lot is going to be rewritten, like a lot of stuff. And from so, the comic book. I would no no no. I just meant like um in the past movies. Okay. I mean, yes. Yeah. I would say like, um, it it's gonna be just. I mean, this is a time travel movie, uh, and so I would think that all these things that transpire will um, either affect the way we look at. Yeah, will either like change the way we see the first, you yeah. know, three movies, or will make them um, not so much obsolete, but they will definitely be able to rewrite. Re- it's it's it's. It's a very smart way of rebooting their universe, refreshing it. It really is, um, which like brings me, gives me so much hope that we might have a cool and really not lame uh, Scott Summers. I mean, Havoc's his brother, okay? So if we can make Havoc cool and we can have him in there, can we please just have an awesome Cyclops? That's what I want, like, more than anything. Um, and so... Yeah, that's what I want more than anything. So I hope that, you know, with all the things that go on, we can have a Cyclops that's cool. Okay. So that's my general prediction. Who would you say is going to die in this movie? Who's your death prediction? Death, I, I, I maybe it's a cop-out, I don't know. But yeah. it's Storm. She's going to die. Yeah, you, saw that, the, you saw that in the trailer. <laughs> He's going to impale her. It looks pretty bad, yeah. She's, and then, you know, it's always you see something in the trailer, and then, oh, they dodge it. But I, I, I just think in the beginning scene, we're going to see a bunch of these original mutants get killed off. Yeah, I, I agree, and I, th- I hope it's many. I yeah. hope they kill off like several. Like they had, you know, Sunspot and Cyclops, or not Cyclops, excuse me, Colossus, yeah. and like all they did their like Avengers pose where like yeah. the camera, you know, and they're all like flexing yeah. or whatever. I hope they all die. Like I, I don't mean that. Like I love all those characters, but I yeah. hope that they all just get so destroyed, so we know these Sentinels are like they're so dangerous. Yeah, and I, I, I would want like. All of them to die. Like no one survives mm-hmm. the future. Yeah. So, uh, what would you say for your after credits scene prediction? Okay. So after credits scene. Yeah. We know they're doing X Men Apocalypse. Yes. Um, now, they recently had the X Men premiere. I don't know if you saw this. Um, no, I don't, premiere, I don't think I did. And they invited. You know, it's it's not unheard of to get. You know, it's it's a sequel. Let's have some of the original cast come back. So they had what's his face. Um, Guy who played Cyclops in the original movie, and uh, oh, I forget his name, Jean Grey. Um, yeah, and they, you know, invited the actors there, and that's not unheard of. But what did strike me as a bit odd is they were in the cast photo. They were. Right, they're in a cast cool. photo. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, I suspect 
end credit sequence, something with, um, you know, Cyclops, Jean Grey, maybe, you know, they show, like, Apocalypse or something, and they're, like, the Horseman or something, oh, where they can introduce them. But I think I'm, like, 90% sure Cyclops is going to be in this movie. Same with Jean Grey. Somehow, I don't know how they're going to work it in, but I think they're going to be in it. You know, okay. I, I hope you're right. Yeah. Um, but, I, I mean, I would say... You know, for my after credits scene, um, I think it'd be funny if they did like, exactly what Avengers did, you know, where they had, like, Thanos, like, turning. If they did that with Apocalypse. The same exact. Like, the exact same, like, you know, he's, like, standing on the moon in outer space or something, and he just turns. Um, I would like to have, like, a glimpse of him. You know, either, like, that, or I would like to... I would like to see, you know, you know Scott and Gene, because... I thought it was very interesting in the Wolverine yeah. the movie that came out a couple of years ago. That she was in it so much. She was, and I felt like that was such a plot that ended in um, Last Stand, and I felt like adding so much more was just. It was very interesting because I, yeah, go on. Yeah, I was gonna say like it really didn't even feel like a. I mean, it, yes, it definitely felt like a Wolverine movie, but it, it really could have just been labeled X Men Four. You know, yeah. because it felt like such a continuation of the events that happened in Last Stand. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know. One theory I yeah. have, especially with that scene, is she's saying, you know, how she wants, you know, Wolverine to come there. It's all in his dreams. But what I, the most shocking thing about that is when you watch it, she mentions, "I'm all alone here," and what you suspect she's talking about is in heaven, or you know, whatever their interpretation of that is. If she's all alone there. Wouldn't Cyclops be up there with her if he died? Right? You know, <laughs> you'd, you'd expect they're both good guys, you know? Yeah, and I think, you know, you, you bring up a good point because he never had, he didn't have he an never on, saw him. He never die. had an on screen death. It's, it's basically, you see, you know, she's having her powers, and then all of a sudden it cuts Wolverine and Storm walking up, they see his glasses. That's it. You know, yeah. and especially in comic book movies of all, if you don't see someone die on screen, they're not dead. Yeah, and so... Uh, or they're just never dead, even if you see them die on screen. Yeah. I don't know. That would, yeah. That would be cool. I would be cool if we, like, we brought back, like, the really, like, awesome mutants. We get, you know, I want, you know, I want more Iceman. I want more Jean Grey. I want more uh, Cyclops. I want... I want some more freaking Angel, okay? I want, like... <laughs> get Bob, Ben Foster. Ben Foster is awesome. Yeah, I, I want more of him. And then I also would love to see some some uh, Kurt. I'd love to see some Nightcrawler in there. Yeah. Because yeah. He, he was really cool in X2. And so I felt like to not have him in 3 or anything else... There was like, a, it looked like there was a... I'm pretty sure... I'm not certain. I just yeah. know it from reading up. But there was a dispute with the... Uh, I think the producers of it. Um, and they, they it ended on bad terms. But maybe not Brian Singer's back. Maybe. maybe they put I don't know, yeah. Well, yeah. sweet. Guys, I think that's all we have for you guys today. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what your predictions are in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay ace.